Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 video games that led to huge lawsuits. You want coffee, baby? We have prepared Joy-Con color variations, neon blue and neon red. For this list, we're looking at giant lawsuits caused by video games or levied against video game companies. So which one would have you calling a lawyer? Number 10. Unreleased Fallout MMO Roughly a decade before the release of the monstrous game that would become Fallout 76, Interplay, the creators and original owners of the Fallout IP, began building a Fallout MMO of its own. Dubbed Project V13, not much is known about the game, only that Bethesda wasn't happy with the progress it was making. Interplay had a set deadline for when the game was supposed to enter full development, which the company let expire, and Bethesda took them to court. The resulting lawsuit, settled in 2012, made it clear that Bethesda was now the sole owner of Fallout, and had the rights to eventually make a Fallout Online of their own. Number 9. Donkey Kong Way back in 1981, Donkey Kong made his first video game appearance, and Universal was insistent that the existence of Donkey Kong was infringing on their copyright over the character of King Kong, cinema's most iconic gorilla. However, people have been arguing about who owns King Kong since the 1930s. Five decades on, and little had changed. It wasn't clear whether Universal Studios, which also tried to sue RKO, distributor of the 1933 movie, had a leg to stand on. Ultimately, the courts ruled that King Kong was in the public domain once again, so Nintendo was free to continue making Donkey Kong games. Number 8. Pac-Man and KC Munchkin Even in the early days of gaming, video game companies were still pretty litigious. And Atari was no exception when they believed Philips Electronics and Magnavox were trying to release a clear Pac-Man knockoff. Hard at work on its own port of the arcade classic for the 2600, Atari wasn't happy about Casey Munchkin showing up on rival consoles. Featuring a small character with a large mouth roaming around a maze, eating pellets, and avoiding monsters, the similarities were clear. And the course agreed, ruling in favor of Atari. But then, after all that, the 2600 Pac-Man port turned out to be complete garbage. Number 7. Lineage 2 In 2010, South Korean game developer NCSoft found itself in hot water when one player brought a lawsuit against Lineage 2 for being, quote, too addictive. They claimed to the courts that his total 20,000 hours in the game had destroyed his life, saying the fact that it didn't have a warning on it was negligence on NCSoft's part. It wasn't the only time people tried to take Lineage 2 to court either. In 2013, a 64-year-old woman tried to sue the company for the fact that while trying to enchant an incredibly rare sword, supposedly worth $28,000 in real life, the sword broke. She said NCSoft was liable because she'd done it by accident, which lawyers proved was a lie. Number 6. Joy-Con Drift So intuitive controls using movement or tilt are possible. Though the Switch has been a wildly successful console, one issue has plagued Nintendo ever since its release. Joy-Con Drift After a fair amount of use, the Joy-Cons on the launch Switch, improved Switch, the Switch Lite, and the Pro Controllers begin to drift, meaning the sticks don't read your inputs properly and the controls simply won't work. Numerous lawsuits have been brought against Nintendo for both failing to fix the problem and repeatedly denying that Joy-Con Drift even exists. In 2020, news broke that a 10-year-old boy and his mom were even suing the company. These lawsuits are still ongoing, so it's not clear whether they'll be successful. It invites everyone to a new world of entertainment. Number 5. World of Warcraft Go forth to victory. One particularly notorious private server in World of Warcraft caught Blizzard's attention, and in 2009, the company filed a lawsuit against the server's owner. But Allison Reeves, the person behind the Scape Gaming server that allowed people to play WoW without interference from Blizzard, apparently wasn't too phased by the suit. When her court date came, they did not appear, nor did they even acknowledge the case brought against them. Maybe they knew that they couldn't win against Blizzard regardless. 
but because they were a no-show, Blizzard was given a default judgment and Reeves was ordered to pay damages to the tune of $88 million. Number 4. Pong The first ever video game console was the Magnavox Odyssey, invented by Ralph Bayer. And Bayer had a vision, table tennis, but digital. He was so excited about bringing Ping Pong to the Odyssey that he showed off a game concept to Atari's founders, and just a few months later, Atari came out with Pong arcade cabinets. But Bayer was so insistent that Atari had ripped off his own idea of a virtual tennis game that he filed the lawsuit. A few years later, and the case was settled. But had Bayer taken it all the way to trial, it's likely that Atari wouldn't have survived. Who knows what the game industry would be like if Atari had gone bust in the 70s? Number 3. Fortnite Since going free-to-play, Fortnite has maintained its position as one of the biggest games in the world. But Epic still wasn't happy and implemented a way to buy V-Bucks from them directly, completely circumventing the App Store and Apple's 30% cut on microtransactions. Apple removed Fortnite in retaliation, leading to Epic filing a lawsuit against both Apple and Google, which had also removed Fortnite. Countersuits were filed against Epic by Apple for breach of contract, and by September 2020, a judge ruled in favor of Apple. After all, practically every retailer takes a 30% cut on sales. With a trial set for May 2021, only time will tell whether these suits will be good for players. But if you want to download it now for the first time and start playing, you'll need to go directly through Epic Games. Number 2. Cyberpunk 2077 Got another blackout in Santo Domingo! Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid! CD Projekt Red, once the most lauded developer in the games industry, is facing multiple lawsuits from both consumers and investors over Cyberpunk's infamously poor performance on last-gen consoles. The company's investors and shareholders are disappointed by CDPR shares falling in the wake of Cyberpunk's release, while consumers want to see CDPR held to account for false advertising by constantly claiming the game was going to be optimized for the PS4 and Xbox One S. The fact that refunds were issued without question and the game was removed from the PS Store speaks volumes to how poorly it performed on older hardware. Hardware that runs other intense games, like Red Dead Redemption 2, with relative ease. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few dishonorable mentions. The Simpsons Road Rage. This game was much too similar to Crazy Taxi for Sega's liking. I promise I'll try my best not to throw up. The what now? Hey! Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Rockstar was in trouble when a modder released the inappropriate hot coffee minigame. You want coffee, baby? New Super Mario Bros. Wii. James Burt would be fined $1.3 million for uploading an early copy of this game. <laughs> Unlicensed NES games. Atari was sued by Nintendo for trying to release unauthorized games in the 90s. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Too Human We of the World Tree shall not interfere. The way is open. As well as Fortnite, Epic Games is also the creator of the Unreal Engine, one of the most widely used game engines in the business. But you don't just get to pick up Unreal Engine and make a game, you've got to pay a licensing fee, which Studio Silicon Knights didn't do. After struggling to license the engine to make Too Human, Silicon Knights decided to make their own game engine. Epic later found out that enormous parts of this quote, new engine, were actually lifted straight from Unreal 3. Epic took Silicon Knights to court and ended up winning, but the $9 million in damages was small fry compared to the developers being ordered to destroy all unsold copies of the game. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.